If you've made it to this part of the lab, you now know the exact molarity of the potassium permanganate solution that you could see in the background there that's in a burette. Uh, and now we're going to be doing a secondary reaction with that potassium permanganate now that we know its molarity. Uh, so if you read the handout, the directions to go along with the lab, it tells you that we are going to be pipetting some hydroxyl amine. So that's this stuff. We're going to do 10 milliliters of that guy, pipette that into our Erlenmeyer flask that's sitting there. And then we're going to react that with some iron 3 chloride, which is this yellowish looking solution right here, and some water. So I'm going to pipette a 10 milliliter portion of this hydroxylamine. And the markings are a little bit funny. Just a little reminder, if I hold this close so you guys can see um, some of those markings. Sorry, it's hard to see against the, uh, with that camera. But the markings are a little strange right here. It has that it's negative two, negative one, then zero. And then it goes all the way down to nine at the bottom. So I'm gonna do between negative one and nine, that'll be give me my 10 milliliter portion. Okay, so let me get this guy going. All right. Here is our 10 milliliter portion of our hydroxylamine. Then we're going to add 25 milliliters worth of our iron 3 chloride. And about 20 milliliters of distilled water. We're going to take that flask that you see right there. Um, we're going to take that flask there. And we are going to, um, it says that we're going to boil this solution for about five minutes because we need that higher temperature in order for the reaction to complete. So I'm going to put this guy on our hot plate that maybe you guys can see here back in the background. And we'll come back in a few minutes. We're going to let it boil for five minutes and then we'll return.